Okay guys, I have a topic I want to talk about that is not related to dogs and I might regret talking about this while I do my dishes, but why we as women, why do we judge each other so much? Women to women, why are we so judgmental towards one another? <laughs> Um, and this all stems from me sharing my HelloFresh um, subscription I got on one of my last videos. I know it's not going to save me money. <laughs> I said that in my video. Um, I said in my video, I'm not the greatest cook. And this is something I wanted to try out. Okay, so like women who have hobbies, who like to craft, who like to scrapbook, who, you know. Hold on, here comes my son. My son always interrupts when I'm talking. What are you doing? Get the dog food. Go clean up the dog food. Take those cans uh, out to the garage too. you get all the dog poop because it's hard to see with the leaves. Uh, Don't run through the yard, son. Uh, get all the dog poop. Thank uh, you. Uh, Thank you. Why is it so hot? Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> My son likes to run through the yard when he picks up dog poop. And then he misses half of the dog poop. Anyway, so, um, I don't remember what I was saying now. Okay, so, I know I'm spending uh, more for this, that I could buy this stuff. But like I said, I'm not a good cook. And I don't have a hobby. I don't spend much extra money on myself. Um, I don't go to Bath and Body Works and spend money on candles and bath products. I don't buy a lot of makeup. I don't, I don't spend money on myself. So... I don't understand why some would criticize me for wanting to learn new dishes and have a little more variety in my uh, menu planning. Trying out the subscription, I just, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I, just, I don't get it. I'm not one who blows money. Now, sometimes we'll eat out once a week, and right there costs me almost as much for our family of four for one meal going out to eat that would that cost me for two meals trying out the subscription box and trying different and experimenting with different meals. Now, bless your heart if you're a wonderful cook and you can just whip stuff up. And I can't. I'm not that talented. <laughs> My mom wasn't the greatest cook. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this. Um, but. We're not blessed to be wonderful cooks. And, and if I want to try something, um, some new stuff out and maybe teach me some things and, you know, different stuff, which, by the way, the HelloFresh one, I think I'm going to cancel because it, um, I, I don't want to say it was bland because it tasted really good, but I want something more that's teaching me a little more complicated dishes, I guess. So... Um, I am going to cancel that one, and I have the Blue Apron one coming Friday, so we'll see how that is. I've heard a lot of good things about the Home Chef. There's more meals to choose from, so I don't know. I might look into it. I may cancel them all together. It may be a bust. But I just don't know why we judge each other so much. Um, trying something out. Like I said, I may... I'm not a good cook. <laughs> I wish I was. Okay, sorry. That was my son walking through again. He had to talk to me about a couple things. Um, so anyways, let's try not to judge each other so much. Um, things we want to try. You know, it just bugs me. <laughs> it, just, it just bugs me. And people weren't horrible to me about it. Just... I don't know. I just, I felt like I was being judged for just trying something out, you know? 
And that's a horrible feeling, um, being judged. And it started making me doubt. I'm gonna unload my dishes while I talk to you guys. It made me start doubting getting the subscription after I was all excited about it, you know? I don't know. Tell me how you guys deal with all that. I just, I just don't know why. I noticed watching YouTube videos and reading comments on other people's YouTube videos. Women are so judgmental towards other women. It's terrible. We should be supporting one another. Instead of judging me for trying this out, maybe share with me some of your favorite recipes that are, you know, not too, too difficult uh, to try out. Support me. Help me. <laughs> you know, we got to just start supporting one another. I'm not judging. So anyways, I'm going to stop ranting. Probably, guys are probably sick of me ranting. So I'm going to get my dishes put away and clean my house and maybe organize my basement a little bit. See, that's one thing I'm good at. I'm good at organizing. I'm good at cleaning. And I know there's so many people and I watch people like, um, Sophia, my great challenge. I watch her videos. She she she's been doing great now because she's got a new system, but she struggles with um keeping up on her. She she works and she struggles with keeping up on her house cleaning, and she shares that struggle. And I watch her because I want I'm I want to be supportive of her, and I'm cheering her on, and um I'm rooting for her. That's what we need to be doing for one another, you guys. Um, we need to be rooting each other on struggles and what we struggle with so anyways okay I'm gonna and I'm gonna get off my soapbox here <laughs> I forgot to show you guys that I finished my floor no more on orangey brown looking grout no more different color here different color here different color there everything is nice and cohesive looking <laughs> everything is just one color everything is clean because remember I scrubbed it with that goo gone tile and uh, grout cleaner so everything I am happy this helps with my OCD so much <laughs> now I don't have OCD like everything's got to be spit shine clean but I have this problem with Things have to look cohesive. They have to look even. They have to, I don't know how to describe it. If you guys have that problem too, let me know. <laughs> Cause to me it's a problem. Cause it drives me nuts. Like it just has to look uniform. <laughs> so this may have cost me, what was it? Seven pens at like eight bucks. So 60 some bucks. And I'm sure there was a cheaper way to do it, but this was so easy. Um, I'm so happy it's done and I'll spend 60 bucks on a rental um, to make it to where it's not driving me nuts all the time. So yeah, so I need to eat myself lunch and then I gotta feed them lunch. And then I think I'm gonna go downstairs and work on my basement. So first I wanted to share with you guys though about my restless leg uh, syndrome. That's what I've been doing now. So I'm going to eat lunch and then I'm going to come back, share that with you. And then, um, I'm going to go clean my basement. What do you want? What do you want? And what do you want? <laughs> oh, I just let them in from outside and they're all, I sit down there all just staring at me. I don't know why. What are you guys staring at me for? It's only 10 15. It is not close to lunchtime. Look at this face. Look at this face. <laughs> they got to get their faces washed today. Yes, you do. Yes. Okay, so I thought I would, um, I think because I'm talking, they're staring at me. I think they think I'm just, I'm going to give them something. <laughs> anyway, I thought I would uh, get on here and update you guys on my restless leg syndrome saga. <laughs> about that guys these dogs interrupt every video now oh my goodness 
Okay, yes, you guys interrupt every video now. Why? Why can't I ever talk? <laughs> You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so cute. Okay, so as you remember, my doctor had me on Requip. Well, it was I got the generic of it. Um, and told him about my side effects, and he prescribed me. Let's see here. Magnum's watching here. Make sure I'm not sh Okay. Let's get my old address on it anyway. Okay, so let's focus. This is what he prescribed me. And I read the paperwork that came with it and read the side effects. My last medication I didn't because I try not to read them because I don't want to know. But since I had such a horrible side effect to that last one, I read them. And let me tell you, they were worse. <laughs> even said on there something about can cause death and I mean I know that the bad side effects usually don't happen to most people but all I kept thinking is after what happened to me with the last one I am not taking this I'm just gonna tell them I'm just gonna go the natural way and try to help myself in other ways so I just can't and I know this could have been the miracle pill. I mean, it could have been the miracle pill. And it helped me, and it was perfect. But I'm just not going to risk it. And so, this is what I've been doing. I've been wearing these sexy compression socks around the house when I'm on my feet. And I bought, from the advice from a lot of people who have it, I bought magnesium. Now, if you have restless legs and you take magnesium, I take two of these a day. I take them a couple hours before I go to bed. Is this the right stuff? There's different There's different magnesium and this citrate and it says it's for nerve and muscle health. So that's why I got this one. And then I purchased, a lot of people said take vitamin B12. So I got this. I take one of these a day. I think this is a... This is a time release tablet and it's for nervous system support. So I'm taking those before I go to bed along with the socks and along with, let me show you, you probably won't be able to see it, but a lot of people said to put a bar of soap underneath my fitted sheet. Um, in my bed. So right here there's, you can see a lump. I have a bar of ivory soap in my bed because I will try anything to not have to take a pill. So I put a piece of paper towel down and then I set the bar on top of it and then I put the fitted sheet over it. So it seems to be helping guys. I wore these compression socks for two days in a row. While I was on my feet around the house and I, which I may wear them all day long when it's time for jeans weather again, because it's been a heat wave here. I've got shorts on, but, uh, I wore them for two days in a row, took the supplements. Plus I take a women's multivitamin anyway. And I had no pain in my hips cause I sometimes sleeping on my sides would have horrible pain in my hips. And I had, I didn't notice any pain. My legs, I didn't seem to have to move them as much. Well, then the next two days, after the two days of wearing my socks, I did not wear my socks. I got lazy and didn't put them on. I Don't ask me why, because why would I sock something that seems to be working? I don't know. Just me. What's going on over here? What's going on? <laughs> Magnum. Okay, so... And I noticed not wearing these socks, I started to feel a little bit more restlessness in my legs and aches. So I think these socks are pretty much a key to this whole thing too. Um, I don't know what's working. Uh, I just know what I'm taking. The bar of soap in my bed and these socks. And I seem to be sleeping better. Now, do I toss and turn still? Yes. But... It's not because I've got to get up and walk around. It's not because my legs are aching. Um, 
like they were. So I still have a hard time sleeping just because my mind won't shut off. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Again, you guys tell me if I'm taking the right stuff. If you've got restless leg syndrome and you take uh, vitamins, I don't know. Um, it seems to be helping me. And I'm just, I, I'm not taking pills after what happened to me. For this problem, at least. <laughs> So, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, these dogs are going nuts. <laughs> these dogs are crazy as usual. And I think I'm just staying inside today, guys. I'm just going to clean my house. I'm thinking about going through my um, stuff in my basement because I haven't really, um, since we moved here, I really haven't went through things and really organized it properly, I guess you'd say. Like our stuff that's uh, stored in storage. So I'm thinking I might do that today. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm on my... And that's another reason I think these keys are, these socks are key. Because I'm on my feet a lot. I'm not one who could sit and veg in front of the TV. Um, and, and veg on Netflix. You know, and just binge watch stuff. I'm... Even the shows I like during commercial breaks... I'm up, I'm doing something. Like, I'm thinking about, oh, I could do this. I could do that. And I know I should relax more. That's probably a problem of mine, too. I don't relax enough. But there's always something to do. And if I have everything done, I think, man, I have everything done. There's got to be something else I could do. <laughs> I guess that's just my personality. I don't know. But I'm glad today is hopefully the last day of the heat wave we're having and the horrible humidity and tomorrow it's only supposed to be 74 so i'm hoping to be able to get outside and do some yard work and not have the air conditioning on and just the dogs can be out and hopefully the bugs will kind of go away again <laughs> so i don't have to watch magnum as much oh he's terrible he's a terrible little turd <laughs> He just, I've never known a dog to want to eat. I mean, when he's a puppy, the worms. He don't eat the worms anymore that I know of. But eating all those box elder bugs and then throwing it up. I was going to videotape it, guys, for, for you guys. To show you, but it was just so gross. I just couldn't believe it. But anyways, okay, I'm going to end the video here. I just wanted to give you guys an update because I've had a lot of messages on how I'm doing and stuff. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.